Welcome to another Handyman Leatherman video. In our last video, we got this cute little tiny house, ripped off 10 feet of the roof, and started adding in the second story for the bedroom. She wanted more room in her bedroom so she could stand up. It's been a lot of fun. Enjoy part two. Got some beautiful overhangs. We're using the old decking that came off the roof. I think we may have enough. We have a couple scrap pieces around here. And then we're going to uh, put the metal on. You can see on this end, I cut four two by sixes and put them in to support that outside fascia board. So that's looking really good. We still got to move some stuff around and screw it up there. I haven't done it over here yet, but we're coming along. That's going to look so cool. It was very hard to record everything we did on this because a storm was coming in and we were rushing to get it done. So here's what we got gotten done so far. End of day three. We've got three sides sided. We uh, got to, I got to do some flashing against the uh, roof to put the siding on there tomorrow. We're going to put a metal roof on tomorrow and try to get everything buttoned up put some z-track in between the two different pieces of siding but look at that isn't that cool i love shed roof they look so good we are getting really close another good hard day she should be somewhat weather tight before the storm hits then we'll cut out the windows after the storm and put them in and start trimming out the exterior. We we'll really have a true look. It's gonna add so much to this little tiny house. Day four, we came over here on a uh, half day and you can tell the roof behind me. We've got the metal roof up. We finished trimming the uh, flashing, I mean, on the roof and finish the siding. So we've got all four siding pieces of siding on. Today we're going to be putting the Z-Track in where the two sidings come together from the downstairs to the upstairs. And then we're going to be cutting out the windows, putting them in, and uh, putting all the trim around them and all the corners and see if we get it all buttoned up and get the soffit figured out too. So let me show you what it looks like up close. This roof is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful metal roof, 14 feet long. We're gonna do some metal fascia. Once we get all the soffit done, I ran the flashing, not the prettiest. We ran out of siding and I had to piece it, but we're gonna flash behind it and cover all that up a trim. But, uh, and then we'll do a Get some more tar and finish tarred it out when we're all done but it is looking gorgeous this was really tricky to do to try to slide this in after we have already installed the siding but it was getting late and we were trying to accomplish something and make use of a, of a nice day so what i had to do is loosen up a few screws and slide this in this z track if you don't know i also use this on my storage building it is like a Z shape, that, so what moisture comes down the siding, it keeps it from going underneath the next section of siding to keep rot. So it's a safety mechanism. All right, so we got all the Z track up, all three sides. I didn't have it the other day, 
and we were tired. It was late. I we slapped all the siding up, but we knew we could always come back and slide it in there. So now I just got to finish screwing it all off. We'll cut out all the windows and start trimming. It's a pretty day. I know I mentioned it was the fourth day, but technically this is the fifth day because I did a half a day doing that metal roof and the last piece of siding. So let's uh, get this going, try to get this thing dried in today. so cool to see how the room just molds right into that old gamble roof. Look how much room there is up here. The windows. This is so awesome. We just got to figure out maybe some type of railing to make it safer right here. Now let's get those windows in before it rains. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now all we need to do is put some flashing tape around it to waterproof it. Now our very last window. As you can tell, we've already put flashing tape around the opening. And after we get this installed, we're going to run flashing tape around the perimeter of the window to prevent any moisture from getting in. tape is really wide so what I did is I put it on and cut it in half and used it around the window because our 1x4 trim I didn't want to stick out past it sometimes these windows can be installed and then put siding around them but you can also do this just make sure you waterproof it really well. They make a special roller to roll in the edges. Or you can just roll, rub it down really, really good to ensure this well the adhesive sticks this is some really sticky sticky tape 